kids, it's great to see you. Today we were talking all about what is a teacher. And you know something in Matthew 28, 19, Jesus tells us to go into all the nations and make disciples. Well, a disciple means a follower of Jesus. So what Jesus was really saying was, he wanted us, those who love him and are his friend, to go and tell the whole world about him so that they can know Jesus too. Have you ever told your friends at school that Jesus loves them? Have you ever told your neighbors or your grandparents or people in your family that don't know Jesus yet? Well, that's good because that's exactly what this is talking about. That's what Jesus wants us to do. So today, I think we should make a special flyer. It's called a tract. So I made one earlier on and it looks like this and I decided to put a big world on it and I wrote Jesus loves all the nations and that is so true because no matter which country you're from no matter which language you speak no matter the color of your skin or the culture that you come from Jesus loves the whole world he loves everyone and we need to tell everyone that so you can use this flyer you can make as many of them as you want and then you can give them out to your friends and your family and your neighbors so you need to take a piece of construction paper, any color you want, I chose orange, and what I did was I folded it in half, just like this, so it stands up and it looks like a card. And now on the front, we're going to make a big earth. Now I used this because it's round and it's easy to draw around. You can find anything at home that has the shape of a circle Take a black marker or a pencil and draw around the circle just like this. So now we have the round circle for the earth and now we need to draw the blue and the green. So I'm going to take a green marker first which is going to be for the land. And I'm going to make shapes around the edge. And it could be any way you want it to look. You see, I made it look like this. It looks a little bit like a baseball. And now I'm going to color in the green for the earth. And this is actually how the earth looks if you go up into space and you look down on it from far, far away. There are big areas of green, which is all of the land and trees. And then in the middle and around it, there's also a lot of blue, which is the ocean. Remember, we're making a world because the world contains everyone on it, all of the people. And Jesus said he loves everyone in the world. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my blue. So I've made the land, and now I'm going to color in the blue for the ocean. So once we finish coloring in the world, the next step is we're gonna take a black marker and we're gonna write on the top, I'm gonna open it like this, on the top we're gonna to write Jesus loves and on the bottom all the nations.
So once you finish the front, the last step is to open the inside and write Jesus loves you and then put a big heart. And you can also draw a picture. You can do whatever you'd like. I'm gonna draw a really big heart and then I'm gonna write and Jesus loves you and Jesus loves you. And I'm also gonna write a scripture, John 3, 16, because that scripture talks about how much Jesus loves them. So boys and girls, once you've made these, you can use them to give out. It takes courage to tell people about Jesus, but it's really important because they may never have heard that Jesus loves them and you might be the only one that will tell them. So make sure you show them the love of Jesus by being loving and kind and tell them that Jesus loves them so that they know and then you can give them this special flyer as a reminder. Okay, boys and girls, until next time, go and tell all the nations about Jesus and we love you very much. Bye. All on next. I'm here to pay a parking ticket for my wife, Pastor Sarah. Okay, senor, let me just open that up for you. Okay, uh, pa pastor. Uh, maybe try Sarah. No, no, he's here under pastor, and again, these pastors are pestering me, these pestering pastors. What's this? I... Don't get me started on that, sir. Why? Okay, so today, everywhere I've been going, there is someone telling me about Jesus. Okay. First, I see this pastor in a grocery store. How do you know the pastor? He's handing me a banana, and he's like, fruit of the spirit is not coconut. I don't understand what that means. Then I'm in the library, a little kid runs up to me and shoves this in my pocket, assaulting an officer. I almost arrested him. And then now here you're saying, pastor, 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 ay, 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 everywhere yeah. I go. So what's the problem? The problem is, I feel like it's a sign. And I don't want to think that it's a sign from God, you know? Why? These people are just sharing their, their beliefs to me and maybe they want me to believe too. And why would that be so bad? I don't know, it's just, it's, I've never thought of it like that before. But now all these people are coming to me and I don't think it's just a coincidence and uh, I'm just a bit confused. Well, it's good that you don't think it's coincidence. Do you think maybe God is trying to speak to you? You know what, let's just let's handle the ticket and uh, we're going to move on with our day, okay, senor? Enough about this Jesus talk. Uh, $85, please, for the you, ticket. You know, Constable, I'll pay the $85. Yes. But I'm sure Jesus is speaking to you, and do you know what? He loves you very much. He doesn't want you to stay where you are. You may not be ready to hear it, Constable, but one day you're going to have to make a choice whether you follow him or not. Uh, you know what? Uh, what's your name? My name is Pastor Sean. Another pastor? Okay, I'm done with this. It's I not a coincidence, Constable. You know what's not a coincidence? Security is calling you out, okay? Okay, take this man. Take this man. Hey kids, welcome back. Vanessa here. I'm so excited to worship with you today. We're learning all about evangelists. Evangelism, going to the nations and telling people all about Jesus. We're gonna sing about the Lord sending us out to the nations. Send me, I'll go, I'll go to the nations so the whole world will know of your love and compassion. Yes, Lord. The harvest is ready. Your people are hungry to know you. Oh, send me, I'll go. Oh, oh, send me, I'll go. Oh, oh, let's sing that again. Send me, I'll go. I'll go to the nations so the whole world will know of your love and compassion. Yes, Lord. The harvest is ready. Your people are hungry to know you. Oh, send me, I'll go. Oh, oh, oh. Somebody say, 
send me out oh oh oh, 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 oh. are you ready to go to the nations and preach the gospel come on let's go bye wow let's talk about teachers yeah that's right teachers you guys know what teachers are and what they do. They're those wonderful people who stand at the front of the classroom and share wonderful information and teach you so many great things at school. But did you know that God also appoints teachers? They teach you so many wonderful things from the Bible. Like Ezra, he was teaching the Bible all the way from sunup on to the end of the day, and boy, he must have been really hungry. <laughs> they must really know the Bible in order for them to be able to teach it to you. But guess what, kids? They also need to know the voice of God. They need to be able to hear the voice of God to be able to teach you. Did you know that Jesus was a teacher? He taught all of his disciples. And in fact, they called him rabbi. <gasps> rabbi, it means teacher. And Jesus himself heard the voice of God and taught everybody what he heard the Father say. And do you know the best way to test what you've learned? A pop quiz! Woohoo! Let's go! Revived, renewed, restored today, Bible Time Adventure! Hello, all you exiles. Welcome back, welcome back. It's been a long while that we've kind of forgotten about our roots, so it's up to good old me, Ezra the Scribe, to teach you about yourselves through the Word of God. You ready? I can't hear you. You have to say, aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start where it all started, okay? Genesis, the book of all beginnings. Stop yawning. It's all started in the garden. But even before that, how could I almost forget? First, there was nothing, absolutely nothing. And after that, nothing. 15 minutes later. And then we got Noah. So I know a guy, his name was Noah. <laughs> Jokes here and there just to lighten up the mood. <laughs> And uh, the earth was wicked and full of violence, so God had to flood it. Thousands of tears later. And now we're talking about Abraham. You know Abraham. Yeah. Well, first it was Abram, uh, Sarah, Isaac, you know, the, the story. Tough crowd. A lot of boring math later. And then Jacob's son, Joseph, a whole ordeal with the Pharaoh. Oy, and now he's feeding everybody. It's a big deal. Wake up. Approximately 10 hours later. And that is the last thou shalt not. We good? Everyone's up to speed. You know who you are. You know who your God is. <sighs> Let's get back to work. Hey kids, it's quiz time. We're gonna talk about the five-fold ministry. Are you ready? We're gonna test what you know. Okay guys, get ready. Who takes care of the sheep? Nah. Those are God's people. If you guessed pastors, then you are correct. Woohoo! All right, next question. Who travels the world to plant in the ground? No, not literally. But who travels the world to plant churches? Mm -hmm. Come on, are you shouting your guesses? <gasps> apostles! Woo, I like apostles. They're great. Next question in the fivefold ministry. Okay, guys, are you ready? Who speaks God's voice to the nations? <gasps> mm, this is a good one. This is a good one. I know this one. <gasps> prophets. Prophets! Ah, prophets! And we have prophets in our house. <laughs> oh, did you get that one right? Come on, high five. Okay, we have two more. Two more, are you getting them right? Okay, who tells people about God's love? Oh, I tell everybody about God's love. I just love Jesus. 
anytime, anywhere. Ah, is it you? Oh my goodness, who is it? Who is it? Evangelist! Ah, evangelist, did you get that one? Did you get that one? Oh my goodness. Last question in the fivefold ministry. Jesus was called a rabbi. What does rabbi mean? Yes! Teacher, you got it. Way to go, guys. You were amazing. That was great. You tested all your knowledge. Way to go.